Okay, let's see an example. Uh, this is a 1031 exchange example. This is, you can find it on the publication, IIS publication 551 on page 8. Say, you trade a partial of, of a real property with an adjusted basis of $60,000 for another partial of the real property with a fair market value $52,000 and $10,000 cash. So here is you. What are you going to receive? You can receive their uh, new property with the fair market value is $52,000. Then you can receive uh, $10,000 cash. So total you receive amount is $62,000. So then what are you going to give up? You give, give up your own property with a basis of $60,000. So that make it your realized gain is $2,000. So, uh, for the for this in the ten thirty one exchange, the realized gain is not uh is not necessarily taxable. Maybe taxable, maybe not taxable, maybe partially taxable. So that's uh realized gain is different from called recognized gain. Recognized gain here is. Uh, always taxable. Let's just see what is recognized again. Recognized again is a lesser of the real uh, realized again. All the boot. Boot basically is any cash you received that's called boot. Any if you have a liability like a mortgage was assumed by the buyer that's a boot too. So basically Say, so let's compare what you are realized again with, you know, the cash you received. Here, the realized again is $2,000. Then your cash received is $10,000. Which one is lesser? So the realized again is lesser. So then your recognized again is equal to the realized again equal to $2,000. Here, you have a two thousand dollar recognized again. This recognized again will be taxed by IIS. Uh, so then you realize the gain minus the recognized again. That will be your deferred again. Your deferred again is not taxed. However, in this situation, uh, you don't have any deferred again. Then now. After you find out all, all this, you don't have any deferred again. So we want to find out what's our, what's your new basis in the property, right? Uh, what's, what's your new basis? So let's just say, uh, you basically your new property, your new property fair market value, that's $52,000 you received, uh, then Less than less your deferred again. You don't have any deferred again. So then your new property basis is equal to the fair market value of the new property. So it's equal to fifty uh, $2,000 here. So you can see the uh, the the new property basis is a fifty two thousand dollar because you have no gain deferred, and uh, so you can testing this say, you know if I turn around and sell this new property I just exchanged, then do I pay any taxes on it? The answer is no. You do not pay any taxes on it because we already tell you you don't have any deferred again. So that's how you, you know, to double check uh, your answer 